My name is Jim Turner. I'm the author of Mastering the Art of Teaching, a Principle-Based Approach. This is the first in a series of YouTube reports related to my book to give you some idea of what the book is about and maybe give you some opportunity uh, to see uh, what this book might mean for you in your teaching career. The first subject I'd like to talk about is how you can tell someone is a natural born teacher. I emphasize this almost above all else. In any school, any institution, you want people who have committed to a career in the teaching profession. You do not want people who are there waiting to say, go into an acting career or to become a photographer or to become a businessman or a doctor. You want people who get both feet in the teaching career. And these people will know within five years if teaching is right for them. It's really interesting because for each person it can be entirely different. Now, for me, it would seem rather obvious that I would be a teacher. I would consider being a teacher. My father was a professor. My mother was a tennis teacher. They were both consummate teaching professionals. And I started teaching when I was 18. I started teaching swimming and I was pretty good at it. Uh, and I even got a teaching certificate at Hamilton College where I went to college. But I was not uh, interested in a teaching career. I didn't think it was cool enough. I didn't think it made enough money. I don't think, uh, you know, girls were not impressed. And so I was so outward driven and sort of outward motivated in terms of how I saw myself that basically if other people weren't impressed, well, then why should I be? It's not worth doing. So over a five year period, I began to see that I was cut out for teaching, that I actually love teaching, that I waited every day. I woke up every day feeling enthusiastic about the day before me and looking forward to teaching the students. And then I began to value the teaching profession a great deal for what it had given me. And then needless to say, I had colleagues who I admired so much that I realized, I got a little humble and realized if it's good enough for them, well, it's certainly good enough for me and I've never regretted it. 